let us now look at example 3 the question says if sine of 60 degrees minus theta is equal to cos of psi minus 30 degrees then tan of psi minus theta is equal to what and it also mentions that theta and psi are positive acute angles right acute angles means less than 90 degrees and theta is less than 60 degrees whereas psi is greater than 30 degrees the given answer options are 1 by root 3 0 root 3 and 1 so let's see how do we answer this question now the given uh, equation here is sine of 60 degrees minus theta equals to cos of psi minus 30 degrees now the whole idea here is to you know get the same trigonometric ratio on both the sides either convert cos to sine or sine to cos so let's convert this cos to sine how can we do that this cos of psi minus 30 can be taken as sine of 90 degrees minus of psi minus 30 degrees all right if you look at it sine of 90 minus psi of 30 let's say this is one angle psi minus 30 degrees is one uh, variable here so sine of 90 minus x is equal to cos x all right so going by that we can say uh, cos of psi minus 30 equals to sine of 90 minus of psi minus 30 now since the trigonometric ratio on both the sides is same we can say 60 degrees minus psi is equal to 90 degrees minus sorry 60 degrees minus theta equals to 90 degrees minus psi minus of minus plus 30 degrees now let's simplify this so what do we get see we are looking at tan of psi minus theta so let's take psi minus theta so psi goes to the other side what do we get psi minus theta is equal to 90 plus 30 120 120 minus 60 120 degrees minus 60 degrees which is equal to 60 degrees right so we need tan of psi minus theta it can be taken as tan of 60 degrees since psi minus theta is 60 and tan 60 is known to us it is equal to root 3 right so it is very important that we learn all these trigonometric ratios for some specific angles especially 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees by heart so that we don't get confused about what is tan 60 here right tan 60 is root 3 so the answer for this question has to be option c root 3 so again a very simple one it's all about converting uh, one of the trigonometric ratio into the other one so that we can find out the required answer